I did. I went through it fast. <laughs> But I could break it down. No, 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 no. On I, how I this won't even be. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. I saved your life. Ooh, <laughs> saved my life. Yes. I'll give you whatever you want. <laughs> Straight like that. All those years ago. Okay, so. Where it began. It began in a small home in Sacramento, <laughs> California. <laughs> it did. It did. A small preacher's home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> preacher's small home in humble Sacramento. So I belonged to a church, a Bible study group that was very diverse. So anyway, she walked into my Bible study group and I was like, oh, hey, black girl. Yeah, yeah. And then sure. she sat in there and revealed her story to <laughs> this group that she didn't know that she was on a journey to um heterosexuality. <laughs> suppress all homosexual feelings and live a heteronormative life. I was on that same journey. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. I was on the same journey. I feel like so. that's the big reveal. I think very often people are like, where'd you guys meet? And we say Bible study. And it's like, whoa. And then it just like derails into something else. I think the root of the story is that when me and Mylon met, we were trying, we were anti-gay. <laughs> we were working to accommodate my mother, our mm -hmm. family, like people in our lives who very specifically, I was not doing well at life at the time i was also 19 or 20 years old so like looking yeah. back like who the fuck is doing well at 19 but at the time i wasn't doing <laughs> well and it felt like a direct result of me you know living this lifestyle or at least that's what i was hearing a lot of yeah. you know but moreover when we met our we were really trying to fly straight <laughs> But okay. We're really trying to fly straight. Yeah. And in the eyes of obviously our families and the people around us who are encouraging us to do the right thing. And then we literally stumbled into each other. I'm just I mean, a sharer. Like, like, like I, I don't have a but I'm not an overshare. Yeah, see, see ah! I'm an overshare and she just talks a lot. Yes. Yeah. My then will share the details of our lives, which I feel like that's not important for people yeah. to know. Mm -hmm. I don't mind having deep conversations about intimate things. I can talk to anybody about anything. Mm -hmm. I feel like, I don't know, it's a little bit different. Yeah. What people say and whatever. Um, and in this group of people, I'd maybe been to two Bible studies. I think I casually said like, and how, you know, a year ago, I, was, I consider myself a lesbian. Or I was like, you know, we could go, you know, whatever I said very casually, like, and now look at me. You know? <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> Now look. Uh huh. And I was like, oh my gosh, me too. <laughs> I'm on that same journey. That's exactly what happened. Let's be friends. After after the Bible study, she follows me outside. She's like, can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> I look back like, oh. <laughs> like what? Like, oh. Because, okay, you know. <laughs> She kind of comes down to my car. We talk about her license plate. I kind of talk shit. It's funny because, yeah, she's always like, she didn't want to fuck with me because I was the AK. It's not that. It's just, <laughs> you know, a fun, easy way to kind of poke fun or, like, talk to somebody, I think, and, like, mm -hmm. kind of see if they're cool. And she was and was saying how, like, you know, I'm on this same journey. How did you, how did you accomplish this? How did you do this? We should get together. <laughs> we should get together. It sounds so stupid now to discuss this. I really and like you know? figure out yeah. a way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was when like I, a, a gay anonymous thing, right? Yeah, I sure. thought like I was finding. Yeah, yeah, I somebody think, that I can. That makes you know, sense. Circle. Talk. Knowing my wife now, that makes sense. She says things all the time. She's a very free spirit. I Not, saw you as. Mm -hmm. A friend. Like, I wasn't trying to get at you when I first seen you. Yeah. Even though, with the way you're saying it, it, How it seems looks. as though. But I really wasn't. I really wasn't. I think I was just like, 
I think at the time it was like my focus was like, oh shit, I'm hyper focused to this because I'm trying not to engage in energy like this. And so mm. maybe it wasn't something that you were feeling at the time. Maybe I was alone. I really was just looking for a friend that understood what I was going through. Gotcha. And that's what I found. I was going to say, when you found it, I still, I came through, we were friends, yes. we were very... We had long deep talks after church in the car. It was, you know, every, I feel like everything was kosher until I went to her apartment. And then that's where I got to witness that this girl likes to walk around naked. <laughs> has an extreme confidence in her body that I did not have at the time and she, her body was like 10 times better than mine I mean shut the fuck it absolutely was the most perfect just perfect everything shut up it was and that's why she was so confident in it too <laughs> and she just didn't wear clothes at home she lived with her best friend <clears throat> it was a very long time ago <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> But yes, I think <laughs> I did like my body a lot more, or I was just more comfortable. Like yeah. in, in Sacramento, it's probably why I loved Sacramento so much. I mm. felt free as shit. I felt like yeah, everything I was doing was on me. I could afford it. I was living a life, you know. Yeah. Like it was a fun ass city. I was getting gigs. I was meeting girls. I was, I mean, later on, <laughs> once we realized that we were not <laughs> going to stay in this heteronormative uh, life, <laughs> <laughs> shit shifted um, a little bit. We were only trying to force this lifestyle because um, of the pressures of our family, yeah. of wanting to please our parents, of not wanting to, you know, shake the boat, rock the boat, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, I think for us at that time, it started to feel like, look, yeah, too much yeah. until that one faithful day. <laughs> that one faithful night. <laughs> A good night. <laughs> and that's how we met. But that's not when we got together. That was 2010. We did not officially get together until 2013. By spring 2011, she went back to school down in LA. And yes, I decided to go back to school. Different life. With somebody else. <laughs> I was like, where were we good? <laughs> Where we're going. <laughs> uh, I literally moved 300 miles away. It, and immediately a, with, got into a relationship. This is not true. With, <laughs> she moved to LA. I did not immediately get into a relationship, but I got some attention that I probably was looking for. And when I went to bring it to her, she was immediately dismissive of me, which to me gave me a green light to go do what I was looking for. Which, obviously, I was a child. Looking back, <laughs> the right thing to do would have been to fight for the thing. But I was obviously... A child and yeah. that put me in a relationship that spanned the next year and something mm -hmm. and while she was in that i was in multiple relationships yeah we were back it was good i was still hiding though i didn't really like officially come out until she ended up moving back up to sacramento two years later and we officially got together and then i told my mom that i was moving out and moving in with my girlfriend I don't know. I don't even know what the question is. But I'll just give a quick little. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you rescued me? I absolutely rescued you. Oh, I. <laughs> I know that. You do. <laughs> I'm saying, do we do that part? Yeah, yeah. Say, okay, that's yeah. all I was saying is that you like went through it. I did. I went through it fast. <laughs> <laughs> but I could break it down. No, 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 no. On I'm, how. Oh, this won't even be. <laughs> Saved your life. Ooh, <laughs> saved my life. Yes. I'll give you whatever you want. <laughs> Straight like that. So she ended up in moving down and in that other relationship. I blocked her. I was still cool with her best friend. Her best friend used to do my hair. We were still up in Sacramento. And a year and a half. Okay. Because it's the birthday of 2012, February 2012, was when I had a strong desire to call her. So I called her on her birthday and had no clue that she was in a very very terrible space yeah a sad girl a sad relationship that i was probably trying to make work because i felt like i you know had
had dropped the ball. So that's what happened. Mylin called me on my birthday. I was in bed at my at while my birthday party was happening in the living room. Uh, the girl I was with was literally had girls in the living room that she was <laughs> cheating on me with on my birthday. So it was it was literally like ring ring ring. I was like, that cannot be the name on my phone. <laughs> that can't be real. And I answered the phone and she was in LA. Needing to get completely out of that space didn't seem realistic to me at the time. And then like my link calls. So I was still in the relationship. She was mm -hmm. also in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Finally, finally got a little bit serious. Started posting a little girl on the, on the Instagram. You know what I mean? Dang. Oh, oh, oh. I can remember the day. Oh. What? Oh, yeah. I remember that toothbrush picture. Like, it haunts me. I was like, oh, my God. A toothbrush picture? This bitch is brushing teeth. No, no, wait. What? Yeah. Who? An Instagram photo that you had to post of you, Janae, and Cameron brushing oh. all teeth in the morning. Wow. I said, this bitch is really trying to oh. surely move a nigga in <laughs> to the house. That's crazy. That's how you know it's different now when you're around them babies. Ooh. I said, oh no. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to have to be on the next flight. <laughs> so I definitely did. We, I went up was. there. Mm -hmm. She was. We went up there. I don't know what you told that girl, but you, but you was unavailable that weekend. I was unavailable. Oh my God. How horrible. Very funny. And then finally. Yes to a proposal after proposing to me. While I'm in a relationship. Right. The whole shit is, whole shit is wild. Delusional. It's just delusional. <laughs> the whole thing is delusional. But as y'all can see, the Lulu is the Salulu. Because <laughs> we here. Ten years later. And that's not even the start of the relationship. Like, that's mm -hmm. not even the ten years we're talking about. Yeah. It just got hard listening to her be in this, like, emotionally abusive relationship like it was just really really bad and i was like this is fucking crazy because you deserve way better and you're not gonna stay out there anymore and me and her best friend i just yeah sorry go ahead drove down mm -hmm. and picked her up literally in the middle of the night I literally just had to call cuts on that life yeah and called it quits and moved her back up to sacramento and i was we were sitting on that couch and you were like um you know you still need to ask me to be your girlfriend I was like, you just saved me. You just came all the way 350 miles and picked me up. I rocked your shit in every room in this house. <laughs> of her friend's house. <laughs> she was living on a couch. You were living on her best friend. She was living on her best friend's couch. She did not have a job yet. She did not have a car. She had a dog and a couple <laughs> bags of clothes. And I was like, are you going to claim me or what? Because even with nothing, <laughs> <laughs> she had something, obviously, intrinsically in her that was like... You could see it? I could see it. I knew. I knew I knew. She was so, so like, hustle mindset. Like, she had just got there. She had been there, what, a month? Like No, weeks. I got there. The Super Bowl was the first week of February. Whatever that oh, week, weekend yes, was. Oh, yes, it is. And we got together the 19th. Oh, okay. So the third, and then we got together the. So oh, yeah. I was there literally. Two I was weeks. like, I just saved you, so. But she knew let's I didn't have shit. She knew I didn't have <laughs> shit. I was and and was like, yeah, you know, you're mine. Mm -hmm. Take care of me too. I I was not like that. I was not. No. No. <laughs> no obviously, I, you couldn't be. <laughs> no. To be. Right. I was like, I wait. I was like, you know. And look at us now. Mm -hmm. Look at us now. And that was all the years before I'm talking about. This is before we started, right? So all that stuff, all the time, all that investment, those are just, you know, the things you go through trying to make sure it's the right person. And when it is, yeah, then you start. <laughs> We've been together a long time now. Ten years. Yeah. Never Ten and a half years. Uh, we both have that. That's for another. Oh. We have she another. literally just reminded me of this breakup. Even I didn't remember. Oh. We'll get into it another time. 
like subscribe comment below make sure you give us all the things and anything else that you want to talk about because